Hey guys, I've been away for a while. You've probably noticed. If you didn't, well, there's no videos. It's because it's Christmas and I'm home now. Uh, and here's the cool part. I've got my 64 gigs of RAM coming and then I will be saving up for a new GPU because that had to be done. I can't live on 32 gigs of RAM. <clears throat> it doesn't go well with what I do. So there's that. Anyway, you've seen from this title, this video is about how to maintenance Cache OS. And the best part is it technically maintenance itself. Now there's two ways we can do this. If you're on Arch Linux, or if you're on, well, obviously Arch Linux, if you're on GNOME, you can grab this cool little thing which automatically shows update. It's called uh, Arch Linux Update Indicator. As you can see, there are a lot that currently need to be installed, about 250 updates. So it tells you when updates are ready and pending. And as you can see, <laughs> oh boy, uh, there's a lot of stuff that uh, needs to be updated. And you can just hit update now and it will do it. Another thing you can do is you can head in to your terminal and I'm gonna zoom in uh, just like that. And you do sudo hackman dash capital S Y U. Now, most people are terrified of this command. There's a big ooga booga going around, you know? Uh, the big ooga booga is that this can end up breaking your system. Here's the dealio, though. If you're part of the Arch Linux Discord, they have an announcements channel. So if anything ever goes wrong, they'll tell you beforehand, before you update, you need to make these changes manually. And that's what separates Arch Linux, or sorry, Cache OS from the other distros, is they warn you ahead of time if something will cause an issue or not all right they won't instantly just screw you over and let you suffer and then you have to go to the discord to get everything fixed they've done this before and uh they'll surely do it again which is very great of them so we hit enter and again it asks you do you want to replace your pzip with uh seven zip so i guess that's a thing we're gonna hit yes and let's take a look through all of these. I don't know. Maybe we can do something with this. So, uh, 7-Zip is a thing now. There's Aquamarine, Audit, Archive. Blue Man has to do with Bluetooth. There's a Blueprint compiler. Boost Libs. All this other stuff. And as you can see, they come from extra repos and core repos. So, it's a huge mix of stuff. And it's just... There's not really anything in here. That could cause any of your stuff to break, which is nice. And uh, taking a farther look at it, though, I want to make sure. Pretty easy to go through and, you know, tell if something is going to break your system or not. If, like if it's a major component or it's like the newest kernel, sometimes that can be an issue. You know, so we're just going to take a look. Linux headers are getting updated. I don't even... I need to, Linux API headers, what the hell is that? Nautilus is getting updated, which is nice. NeoVim, Ninja, OBS Studio. That's pretty good. I'm glad that's being updated. That needs a bunch of fixes. So yeah, there we go. So you just hit yes. And as you can see, uh, it's gonna download pretty quick. Cause again, this depends on your download speed and your parallel downloads for me. It's already done, and that's the great part about everything, you know? Uh, we, we originally set everything up to be optimized and to work for you. We also got a Casio S settings update, which is good. Now, with this, this is pretty cool. All you have to do afterwards is reboot. That's it, and you're done. So, there's your maintenance. I know it seems silly, but that's usually all that's ever required, okay? Ah, so if you found this video useful, helpful, if you were scared of updating before and you're not anymore, I'm glad that it helped. Let me know in the comments if you have, you were not updating and you haven't updated in a while. Uh, some people have really slow download speed, so this is going to take them a bit, but it's worth it in the end because, again, as time goes on, packages get more optimized, bug fixes happen. This is why being on a, um, a rolling release distro is honestly better for you than being on one that keeps packages outdated is because you're constantly getting these bugs fixed instead of living with bugs 
for years on end that are never touched or even mentioned or fixed. Because again, you don't update the packages. It's going to cause problems. If you don't update the dependencies. You're not going to be able to use the newest programs, so on and so forth. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video. If you want to support me, you can become a member on YouTube. We also have a Ko-Fi link in the description. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.